This is beautiful. And do that. That's what's it. But I said that if a woman is going out with a man, she belongs to that man. That's his woman. So she wants to do OnlyFans. She owes him some money because she's his. What? So that is you saying that women are your property. Have you ever this seen a woman try and do anything competently? If you are listening, Andrew T, you are weird. I'm going to find you and tag you, Andrew T. Why they angry? Okay. He's, speaking, too he's much. speaking reality. Why are you going to get mad? Because he's telling you to treat me like a king. I have nothing against women. I believe women are the most precious things on the planet. They create life. They should be protected. They should be provided for. You go, fuck her. That's how it mm. goes. Slap, okay. slap, grab, choke, shut up, bitch, sex. I have nothing against women. Right. I believe women are the most precious things on the planet. Water, please. Oh, oh shit, Andrew? How you doing, bro? Keep her in line, bro. You're doing good. I have nothing against women. I believe women are the most precious things on the planet. When I grab you by your neck, you start like trying to resist, and I just Ugh. and then I grab you by your neck um, again. Then what the fuck are you gonna do when your face is collapsed? And mental problem. Okay. How's it going, Dazzlers? Welcome back to Daz Games and another Daz Watches. Quite possibly the most unique Daz Watches um, I think I've ever filmed or done research into. I've just got off the phone um, with a woman. Now, depending on the outcome of this video, you would have heard the phone call. But as I'm filming this now, she's going to get back to me to see if she's happy to submit her evidence in this video. If I do not include the phone call that I've just had, it is because she has decided that um, she would like to keep her self private as she is concerned, as many other women are, about her safety when it comes to who we are reacting to today, Andrew Tate. The phone call that I've just had um, is with a young woman who knew Andrew apparently very well. And the women that are coming forward to me, who are reaching out to me and telling me their stories, they involve situations of abuse, violence, sexual violence, assault. And unfortunately, yes. everything that you're seeing is not a character. This is exactly um, who Andrew Tate is. I am not the police. I'm not here to pass judgment. It's not my place, but I do have a platform. And with my knowledge of the current situation and multiple women coming forward to me, my advice to them was to go back to the police, speak to them, and my platform will always be a voice for women of, and men, of domestic abuse, sexual violence, and assault. I will always speak up against it, and I don't care how much of a G you are today we're leaving internet trends Topsy. we're leaving humor we're leaving diss tracks we're leaving everything out of this because this has turned into something um that i quite frankly i'm not surprised that phone call just happened um and if it's in the video it's because she has asked it to be and if it's not that's what happened just now but for those who don't know and i find it very hard to believe that um many of us don't know who andrew tate is i don't think i have to um do any explaining but let's get into this who is andrew tate andrew mm, tate okay, is a internet personality and multi-millionaire self-made businessman said to run a pyramid schemed empire based on giving out business advice I haven't really looked too much into the business because unfortunately um, everything else has just overshadowed it. But apparently it's a very successful yeah, business skin. and many young men are being coached by this man on how to lead uh, into the future beating their chests. As most men are taught in life, we must grow up strong, we must grow up tough and we must never back down from a fight or show emotion. And Andrew Tate uh, has won over his own fans, not just because of his... Um, lavish lifestyle of fast cars, jets, and having a background, a very successful background in MMA. But that's not really what's grabbed the internet's attention. Him being rich and him uh, being a kickboxer, it's just the start of it. Really, his career started back when he was in Big Brother and he was evicted because footage of him um, beating a woman with a belt, who I have mm. come to understand was his former girlfriend. Mm. Uh, was saw this video. I cannot show all of the footage um, but this is all out on the internet, so I'll mix it up with the audio of the footage 
And this is uh, the footage that was, that I believe uh, got Andrew Tate. Mm, it's kind of disturbing. With what? With what? You have a belt because you're a jerk. Show me the bruises. Damn. I have an idea. Some ideas? Do you want my ideas? That's right, lock the door, you f You knew I was going to beat the f out of you. Mm. If you behaved, I wouldn't have to hit you, would I? Yeah. You f don't. Get out. You can't stay in there forever. Now, the woman I've spoken to um, said that Andrew has many girls that um, apparently uh he has a very deliberate abusive relationships for and some of the girls have come forward saying that they were just playing joking and that this was part of their dynamic and their relationship go tell the camera that i beat you and you don't do as i say go say it in english proper english no slovak say it to the camera you're busy and i don't listen but all i said say i said when i said tell the camera i beat you and you don't do as i say i didn't say the word listen did, did I say the word listen? Did I say the word listen? Stupid bitch. I didn't say the word listen. Did I say listen? Did I say listen? No. Look at the camera. Did I say listen? No. Did I say listen to you? Did I say it? No. Did I say it? Stupid Look at the camera. This is what happens you don't listen. Look at the camera. Why are you getting hit? Why are you getting beaten? No, I don't listen. You don't listen. You. Do as I say. Now, um, this is what Tate had to say about uh, these clips being released. And then we'll give my views. So, yeah, exactly. So, you were on a reality TV show, and a video of you hitting a woman with a belt. Yeah, so video of me hitting a woman with a belt blows up. Wow. It's all in the, this is like 10 years ago, before yeah. the internet was big. So, it's like English tabloids, blah, 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 blah. Andrew's a woman beer, Andrew's a woman beer. The woman, obviously, now any... Once again, this is an IQ test, right? Because yes. any guy who's bad with women would look at it and go, takes a woman beater. Any man who's actually a G, who's been around a little bit, would look right. at the video and go, man, she she wants that. Yeah, the crying okay. really gave it away. The uncomfortable, unpleasant body language of the woman in that video, which unfortunately I can't show on YouTube, really gave it away that she loved it, Tate. And you're right, maybe we don't understand because we're not a, a G. Been mean is that like a gangster sort of thing i don't know she likes it a little bit of spanking a little bit, you know it's normal right gonna but, get a fly, but you're gonna get some spanking but if you're a dude who never gets laid you can't fathom that a woman would want that uh -huh. so that's they can't fathom it so really this is not even iq test this is a test of how good you are with chicks so not really an explanation um for it um his fan base seemed to think that this has been debunked as a case of she was up for it it was a submissive relationship. Now, let's put aside what everyone thinks for a second, and I'll tell you what I think. Yes, I mean, Without seeing the video, it's hard to judge just from audio how brutal um, Andrew is treating these women. She was crying. She did not look happy. This did not look like an environment mm -hmm. where it felt she safe. Acted and there were restrictions in place. When you have to hide yourself in the toilet because you know what's coming, whether you're in, you think you're into it or not, I, this is not okay. This is not okay behavior. This is not the behavior of a G. This is not the behavior of a man. And with everything else uh, cu coming out and his words, which we'll get more and more into in this video, it's very, very apparent to me, uh, and he doesn't deny it, he gets off on hurting women, making them feel vulnerable, dominating them, and Just letting them in their sadistic. Place. And that's really what's led Andrew to the top of the internet, where he's been searched more than people like Taylor Swift. His comments and misogynistic views have been met with obvious anger and frustration. But surprisingly, a lot of uh, men and women have um, agreed with a lot of his views. Now, I will say this. For the people saying that, oh... Andrew actually makes a lot of points I agree with, though. Oh, okay. Wipe the slate clean. Let's just, let's forget about it all, shall we? Because he said a few good things uh, and some things that I agree with. Do you know who else did that? Hitler. Up. Hitler no, quit, gave I'm great dead. advice to people in his lifetime. Killed millions of people, though. In life, you have to weigh up a person. Even the most evil, corrupt people have a good side. 
Some of them might even have a good sense of humour. But when you weigh it up, it counters, you know? You have to judge a person by their actions. And sometimes you have to dig a little bit deeper and really think about what someone's saying and what those words mean behind it before you can say, ah, it's okay, because they said a good thing yesterday. I don't buy that shit. I don't get that. Let's dive a little deeper. The control over women uh, has been the subject of hot debate. And it really came from uh, one of the most popular clips, and it, admittedly it was one of the first clips I saw on TikTok of Andrew, was him stating that he was entitled to a OnlyFans models if they were his girlfriend. He would be entitled to a percentage of their money, if not pretty much all of it. You say a lot of stuff about women, like that they're your property. That's not what I said. I was talking about an OnlyFans company when that was question was asked. But I said that if a woman is going out with a man, she belongs to that man. That's his woman. So she wants to do OnlyFans. She owes him some money because she's okay. his. Well, that's crazy. It's she is his girl. Down. But what does that have to do anything? Because she's his. So that is you saying that women are y your property. It's not about being property. It's about the fact that she belongs to him and the intimate parts of her body belong to him because they're in a relationship. And if she wants to sell those, he has a stake in those intimate parts of her body. So it's reverse. A uh, male porn star owes the woman. I don't know, because I think the women belong to the man. I think the woman is going to inherently <laughs> where you get called sexist. So regardless of how Andrew wants to put a spin on it, the fact that he believes that if a man, if the positions uh, were reversed, if a man was to be making money from his body, a woman gets nothing. I've heard other interviews of Andrew stating that in marriage, a woman, her father, hands them off its tradition and is given to the man. This is very true in a lot of religious uh, ceremonies and most weddings, the father gives their daughter away. This is not a contractual agreement. You are not purchasing the woman. She is not given away to serve you. Dad's walking his daughter up the aisle and say, I support your decision. That's it. That's the, that's the spiritual meaning behind it. The fact that Andrew has this warped view on that women belong to him is crazy to me. But also, we're still going through this in government today, you know? Men who have this ideology, much like Andrew, are the same men that passed rights taken away from women uh, on abortion rights. We're not going to get into that one today. That's... um. That's another issue, but it's the um, same mentality. Say the truth. Which is? Uh, women can't fight. Men are stronger. <laughs> like, based more true things. I, I think another thing I said is I said, and, and maybe I'll upset the ladies on the podcast. I hope not, but please correct me if I'm wrong. Probably I said if I were to get on a plane and I were to, that plane was to fly into the eye of a hurricane, and there was a 50% chance of it crashing. I'd want a male pilot because I think that males are better <laughs> under stress and under pressure. That's just true. Women are better at other things than men. And I'll sit here and say women are girl in him. Um, now you can take away from this um, that um, the biological truth that um, most men are larger in frame and stronger in muscle. Biologically, no one's an idiot. Everyone knows that's true. But that is... Um, where pe that's what people listen to. Ah, oh, he said something that's correct. But if, and they seem to forget everything else that he's just said. Men make better alone. pilots. I don't know what statistics there are out there that prove that. Some of the female pilots I've met at like air shows and stuff, they're some of the best pilots in the world. And as a um, combatant, as a uh, decorated athlete in martial arts, for him to say that women can't fight, is crazy to me. You've only got to like watch UFC and watch the women's division. And in most cases, they're fully capable of taking down a man much bigger and stronger than them. So this is horseshit. This is all horseshit. They're better at X. But I will second. say that men are better at Y. I'm not going to sit and pretend that, that we're all the same. We're not. Under pressure, when your life is on the line, anyone... With a, anyone who's honest would want a male pilot in said situation. You would not. No, I wouldn't care. To say that, like, women are... His accounts on women are very, like, strange to me. And I've met a lot of women uh, that he sort of seems to describe. Women that are, like, really emotional, very materialistic. Sometimes when Tate is making a good, valid point, he'll have to interject a jab. You know, he'll have to get a jab in there against women and just bring them down a notch. And that's evidence in other interviews he's done. Nine months. If you're not gonna like it's sorry, race. my headphones fell off. If you're not if you're not gonna have <laughs> if you're not gonna have children, if you're not gonna have children, what are you gonna do with your lives? Uh, if I'm not gonna have children, what? um travel, just pursue anything that makes me happy, um, try to make money, 
I love traveling, so I would probably just drink drink, drink cocktails on a beach. Okay, next. <laughs> So there it is, that's his argument. He, he takes his then. experience with the girls that he attracts and he just offloads that on the entire gender as a whole. We need to stop um, taking our experiences with our girlfriends, our boyfriends and hitting everyone who's innocent with the same shovel because they're the same gender as the person who hurt you. This is a case that I think... Um, Andrew Tate needs to break because Andrew is a very materialistic man. And I don't think he tries to hide that. I think he, if me and him were talking right now, he'd say, absolutely, I am a materialistic man. He raves about Bugattis and fast cars and money and expensive cigars and your brands. And that's that's his, um, you know, lifestyle. He throws his lifestyle out there. This is what you have to be. This is a man. If you're going to be a very materialistic person and think those are the things that matter in life, you will attract that in the opposite sex. You will attract a girl who is also wanting just the money, who also just wants to buy handbags and have their nails done and all the other little jabs that Andrew seems to get in. This is not all women. I have a girlfriend and barely wears makeup. She, I've never seen her get her nails done. She loves to travel, she doesn't want kids, and she's one of the most wonderful human beings on this planet. And I know so many other women who are just not these type of women that are very material. If you're gonna act material, mm -hmm. expect yeah, to get the woman. material. And this is all Andrew knows. He thinks he knows women because he beds and controls and manipulates all these women that all they care about is fame and standing on a yacht. And there are women out there like this, as there are men. Just because that's all he knows, and of course that's all he knows. He's material. He's attracting material girls. Girls with common sense don't go near him. So of course he doesn't know the other side. <laughs> <laughs> About the same thing, like travel, focus on my career, things like that. Like, my career will become my baby. What about, uh, what about you? Um, I honestly just want to get right into my career. So a bunch of women who choosing not to have children because um, we're not in the 1940s anymore it's not expected for women to just have kids stay at home and bake fucking bread i thought we were past this ideology so that's a very fair answer. andrew's asked what do you guys want to do if you guys didn't want to have kids they've given very reasonable answers which most men also would not want kids for the same reasons what's his response oh yeah it doesn't matter. With well, I plan on becoming a doctor. So I'm just, my career. Go do it. Go do it. It's your life, you know? Damn right. A life without children is, is vapious. And it's inane and it's pointless. And you may sit here and think that your career matters. But right. the truth is, matters. It's from Cornwall now. Matters. Does he even have a Bugatti tractor. Your job will fire you out of whim and not give That's us right. a, don't give a solitary That's shit. So and when you're 52 and you're past it with no grandchildren in a house by yourself and all your friends have grandchildren. This what is this anger? Why? <laughs> it's like he has to tell them. <laughs> no, this is intense. a very unhealthy man with a very unhealthy addiction to the domination of women. I'm telling you this beautiful life and you're sitting there by yourself do you think the fact that you could afford a few extra gucci bags is going to genuinely make you feel happy see again uh there's the mm, jack you're going to have kids just because you want gucci bags not all these women had just one of them just said she wants to be a doctor and save lives these women mm, have goals and you're still treating them like they're just some basic young 19 la chick who just is obsessed with chanel that is not all women. And of course, this is Andrew's advice. Of course, this is his experience in relationships. Because as he's already said publicly, he prefers- He's also said that he prefers to date girls that are 18 or 19 so he can make an imprint on them. He prefers to date 18, 19 year old teenagers because he likes to imprint on them. Yeah, no wonder your girlfriends, all they're interested in is getting their nails done and handbags and going out and partying. Because they're young. This is why it seems alien to us guys and older women what you're saying about all women. It's not because we're virgins or can't get laid. It's because we're dating real women. You're dating kids that are still developing. So of course your knowledge on women is, is primitive. Of course all girls in your eyes only care about getting their nails done. You haven't dated a real woman. And you know why? Because when they get a little bit older than 18, 
grown up and they're a bit more mature. Most women wouldn't go near you if you were made of gold, Tate. And if they do decide to make the terrible mistake of getting with you, they realise, I don't want to be a slave. I actually like my life. Or, in, with my knowledge, they get you arrested. Date a real woman first before you start spewing all this trash everywhere. Not only that, it's not just your attitude, it's because you look like if someone handed a gym membership to a minion. <laughs> Bottom. <laughs> he does look like a minion. Yeah, let's make that trend. Andrew Minion. The same as not all men are muscle-bound dickheads that only believe that who they can beat up and how much money they can make and how many girls they've had in a jacuzzi makes them a man. What makes people a man is just treating people with fucking respect. Bald-headed, Mr. Potato-looking fucking... You look like a dildo. I'm sorry, Andrew, you look like a dildo. And I couldn't give a shit. I couldn't give a shit how big and tough you are. Do you want to know something I that I've been getting from... Um, Actual fans of mine as well. Andrew could beat you in a fight, Daz. Why are you bothering? The fact that people out there, young boys and men, even still today, um, are coming at me saying you can't beat him in a fight. And do you want to know something? Do you want to know what a lot of men won't admit? And again, to me, this is being a real decent man. Who gives a fuck who can beat who up? I'll be the first man to say, Andrew Tate, me and him in the ring, he'd whoop my ass. Of course he would. He's a decorated kickboxer and he's good at it. I'm not here to prove I'm a tough man and I can beat his ass. Very likely would win in a fight against me. If that makes you happy. Doesn't mean I'm, I'm scared of the guy. Doesn't mean that that should take anything away from this video. Say we did fight. Say we got in there and we beat the shit out of each other. Then what? It doesn't matter who would win the fight. He's still a prick. I'm still me. Nothing changes. We've just discovered who's a better fighter. And that's the, one of the ideologies um, behind Andrew and how men should be. And as men, we need to stop generalizing this fear of I'm not tough. Oh, everyone says he can beat me up. I gotta go prove that I can beat him up. Why? <laughs> Why? Why? Must we still be in a world where men are raised to believe you must be tough? You are a provider. Gotta sleep with as many women as possible to be a G. Still don't know what a G is. The fact that men still go around and are scared, okay. scared to admit that they can be beat in a fight. They're scared and gotta prove how tough you are. Why? It's okay to be vulnerable. It's okay to be down. It's okay to be depressed. It's okay if you are in a relationship and your partner who is a female earns more than you. Who gives a shit? If you could just strive for happiness and be a happy man and treat those around you how you want to be treated, I guarantee you, Andrew does not want to be on the bed, vulnerable, being beaten the shit out of by a group of women. He'd never allow it. He wouldn't allow a woman to cheat. Quite right. We'd all agree with that. I agree with that. But a man can cheat, according mm -hmm. to Tate. But don't worry. The first thing he said made sense. So I'm going to ignore the second thing. Swats. The that happiest really women on things. earth have children and a man who's paying the bills and their mothers. That's the nice. happiest people on earth. I guarantee it. Your your mother, Chancel. ask your own mother, do you nah. regret having me? Literally. She's going to say, of course not. not. You're the nope. best thing that ever happened to me. <laughs> so now you're going to sit here and you're going to end your own Don't bloodline? All the medical care <laughs> and you can live in a nice warm house for your fucking selfish ass to say, no, I don't want kids. I'm too busy in the fucking strip club or going to fucking oh, Mallorca no. to, have a fucking, <laughs> to have a pina colada on the beach. It's absolutely insulting to your entire bloodline. Oh, Everything so angry. everyone above you has ever done and struggled for. All the times your grandparents went to work when they didn't feel like it, just for you to exist, for your selfish ass to say no. Me and my passions and my dreams and my shit drawings and my Instagram page <laughs> is worth more than ever having children. Drawings, it's just again, it's just any point he's trying to make, and this whole point is fucking wrong. It's always got to be interjected with, oh, your shitty Instagram. It's all. These women have just given very intellectual, very 
fair statements that what they want to do with their lives and how children would impact that. I'm a dad and it does. It takes over your whole life. It's a dedication. Some want it, some don't. That's fine. I'm not surprised. Why am I surprised? It's just another video of another man telling women what to do with their own bodies and their own lives. It goes as far up as the fucking governments that run this world. We are still telling women what they should do with their bodies. No one has the right to tell me what to do with my body. Unless you're a doctor and you're advising I lose weight or I change my lifestyle because it's for the better of me. No one has an entire generation of women. You're selfish because you want a career. Andrew Tate has already said that women can't fight. If he hasn't watched UFC, if he hasn't watched women's kickboxing, he hasn't seen the fucking Olympics, he must be blind. But let me tell you something, Andrew. Women n can not only fight with their fists, women have been fighting for centuries just for the right to exist. Whilst you're out there fighting for some belt no one gives a shit about, women have been fighting for the rights to vote, rights to, to do what they want to their bodies. There are still places in the world where women can't enter a kitchen if they're on their period. There's a lot of work to be done, and it's men like this that hold shit back. Not just because these this ideology and this ego and this toxic masculinity, which is becoming archaic, Coming medieval, you're a dying breed, Andrew. And I will not have my daughter grow up in a world where the internet is pasted with your shit opinion on women. We're meant to be moving forwards. How can we move forwards when our future men, that could be gentlemen, that could be decent, just guys that don't care, guys that can I mean, fucking cry and be guys like you, breed more hate people are paying this man for his advice on how to start a successful company women have been fighting for years just for basic rights don't tell me women can't fight so welcome to my bedroom aren't you lucky only you and every hot chick in the world is to see this room she's probably handcuffed <laughs> under the bed now i know i'm not even going to touch upon the uh human sex trafficking um you know Stuff like that. Unfortunately, I can't prove any of that. And it's been investigated. And uh, Andrew has already come forward and stated that this woman was uh, arguing, yeah, jealous, whatever. Name, yeah. And then she texted her boyfriend and he called the police, whatever. I don't know. Let's yeah, see how much man. logic he yeah, can name, police, to don't do anything. A lot of people ask me, well, Andrew, why do you have a machete next to your bed? And my answer is simple. Why wouldn't I have a machete next to my bed? Why don't you yeah, have a machete Because he's insecure. Like, what if someone gets in the house, gets fresh? So, yeah, someone knocks on my door in the middle of the night. I have to go answer the door. Just instantly pick up my machete. They should pass. And who wins? Yeah. Well, that says a lot, doesn't it? It's like he's hiding from something. It's like he's compensating. It's probably just the postman. If you have to go to the front door and feel you need a machete every single time you go to the front door, you've done some bad shit. You're worried about mm, something. So I go to my front door. Sometimes I'm still brushing my teeth. What the machete? Any room I'm in in my house, I can I can produce a weapon. And if you can't do the same thing, you need to think long and hard about why you're such a little pussy. So some what? dude, some little pussy ass dude. So this this clip uh, inspired many people to say that. Um, Andrew's just trolling us, uh, that this entire when thing uh, from the beginning has just been a makes character. Much more sense to... A lot of the people that I've spoken to who know him personally have said that this is not the case, this is exactly what he's like. And we can see it going way back in interviews uh, to the Big Brother days, to his uh, island survival days, when he took part in um, trash reality shows. You can see this mentality has always been there from a very young age. And to answer those people that if it is a character and all these things he's saying about women in this video and all the other videos, um, is if it's just a character, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. This is going out there. People are buying this. People are believing this. Mm, it is encouraging yes, hatred towards females. It, it, it's, it's still wrong. If it's fake or if it's real. I remember I once reacted to a, a YouTuber who pretended that he was not only sleeping with his sister, but that she was also 13 years old. Turns out that she was one of his friends. Mm -hmm. They weren't sleeping together and she was 19 or something. 
and everyone and a lot of people were like, oh, it's, you know, it's just for views. And that YouTuber reacted back to me and talked to me at a um, convention saying, hi, you were talking bare shit about me. I said exactly what I saw. You made a video pretending you were sleeping with your underage sister. That's pedophilia and incest. Even if it's fake, which it was, doesn't take away from the disturbing nature of the act. Just because someone says something good and positive, okay, doesn't take away the fact that they're an asshole. Andrew Tate donates to charity. So did Jimmy Savile. He should have moved to Romania too. He would have got away with a lot more. He once said to me, yeah, but if it's next to your bed, what if you like upset a girl and she catches you cheating and gets a machete? Bro. There's no female alive, even with a machete, that would stand a chance against a immense Okay. Was loading. Someone forgot to charge their Tate. It's power I possess. Okay. Anyone, any, and again, this is coming from someone who's a, a decorated athlete in uh, combat sports. If a woman or a man, anyone, comes at you with a machete like that, it's not like the movies. Y you run. You don't try and disarm them and chop them. Wah! You're going to get hurt. Someone swinging and wielding a machete, you're not going to be able to stop them. And guys like this that think they're some sort of gods, no one can beat them. I just know, I just know so many guys like this. And it frustrates me because their ego is so out of whack that it's like they're not based in reality. You're going to get hurt regardless of gender. You're going to get fucked up if someone comes at you with a machete. End, end of subject. Best thing, go the other way. Have you ever seen a woman try and do anything competently? Jesus Christ. Right. Let's see it coming. What would a woman do? <laughs> you obviously have never watched an Israeli military training video with women. The whole ideology that women are just completely incapable of any form of combat sir. is so moronic. He can't handle that women could whoop his ass. He can't handle that there are strong women out there. This man is compensating for something. This man is afraid of something. This man has to be powerful. And this is how he does it. <laughs> Bang out the machete, boom in her face, and then grip her up by the neck. But like, shut up, bitch! The machete's on the floor, her panties are all wet. And you go, fuck her. That's how it goes. Slap, slap, grab, choke, shut up, bitch, sex. Yeah, um, all the women want that, Tate. Jesus Christ. Every real team so much. basic moves. These are the basic moves of a pimp. Most women want that. To... Amateur. What if a girl picks it up? You're a fucking loser. Whenever I do like meet and greets and stuff, or I recently went to a school prom and a lot of the kids came up to me and you could tell where their mindset was in this day and age. It's just very concerning. Oh, well, all the likes you get, all the views you get. Ah, oh, are you a millionaire, Daz? Ah, oh, what card do you have, Daz? Andrew Tate has all these Bugattis and, you know, branded clothing and lives a very luxurious lifestyle and he's out here saying that's what you have to do to be a g that's what you have to do to be a man you have to choke them and slap them and put them in their place even when they're coming at you with a machete and then they're gonna like it and just fall in love with you and boys young boys are eating this up can't escape it you slap an ipad in your kid's hands and you think they'll be fine and they're not some kids are idolizing this image of Andrew. Just like me when I was younger, before they had the warning signs on the beginning of uh, wrestling, don't try this at home. I fucking tried it at home, <laughs> you know? It's no different now. And his words and his influence are reaching far, far and wide. More than people like Taylor Swift, mainstream celebrities. This guy on Google has been searched many, many times. And parents just aren't aware of the, exactly what they're saying and how kids look at his lifestyle and think, so to be like Andrew and drive that Bugatti, because that's what's important in life, that'll make me happy. I've got to slap a few hoes. That's as simple as it gets, folks. That is the world we're living in. Influence. That's why we're called influencers. I hate that word because it makes it look like puppet masters. But I can't ignore the fact that young people watching us 
are influenced by our actions. I grew up in the Vine era. I came, I rose through the Vine era. I saw worrying challenges as they escalated. People setting themselves on fire and trying to put themselves out because one video got a million views. People died. People are influenced by powerful people online. And because he doesn't care, because he genuinely believes in what he's saying is right, young boys are gonna attempt to behave like him. They're gonna go to a young girl at school and they're gonna treat her like shit. And then that's gonna imprint on her. And you still think this guy is a G. You still think that it's okay to support this behavior. While we're on the subject of how weak females are, females- Jesus Christ. Women can't fight. You're not designed to fight. You're incapable of fighting and you're incapable of handling genuine <laughs> violence. Every single time I see a clip of some chick in some self-defense fight bullshit, it annoys me because they always underestimate and they don't train for the reality of violence. If a man grabs you, you knee him in the balls and run away. You knee me in my balls, all I'm gonna do is get pissed off. You get kneed in the balls. Okay, okay. I've had so many dicks I say think. this. Okay, yes, in the you knee a man in the balls, in the right place, we go down. It, it, it just is no man, unless you're one of these monks that have been training for years, can't even produce babies anymore because you get constantly kicked. So you lose all feeling, you will be dropped. You're full of shit, Tate. I, men are bigger than women. Like, think about it. When two professionals fighters fight, if there's a five kilo weight difference, that's a big deal difference. It's yeah, in fighting, there are weight classes. And, you know, women do not fight men. Women do not compete against men in the Olympics. Uh, mo most people understand that um, in terms of physicality, often or not, men are usually bigger, taller, you know. Uh, that does not make them better because we have a physical advantage. It doesn't mean he'd win in a race against a, a female uh, runner. She could pop his ass, she could be faster. It doesn't really mean that he could beat every single woman on the planet in combat. Like, there are women out there who are probably taller and bigger than him, believe it or not. But stating the fact that, oh, men are stronger, men are, men are what are you trying to prove? What does that mean at the end of the day? We have different fight classes and weight classes in, in fighting for a reason. It's to keep things fair. We all know this. It doesn't mean men are better than women because we are born with a physical advantage. Women are born with physical advantages such as going through childbirth and their bodies and the stuff their bodies have to go through growing up is insane. Men will never understand what women have to go through growing up, both mentally and physically. Such a stupid argument. Strength. I will pick you up with one hand by your titty. What? Body slam your ass. When I grab you by your neck and you start annoying me trying to resist and I just <laughs> And then I grab you by your neck again. <laughs> then what the fuck are you gonna do when your face is collapsed and your fucking cheekbones broken? You ain't gonna do shit but cry. You're gonna fucking cry your eyes out. Females can't fight. If you're so what's the advice then, Andrew? What should Just women do when they live in a world of men like you? What is their only option? If you're a woman and you're going to any kind of self-defense class, stop. Because all that's doing is giving you false confidence bullshit. And next time you're in a situation when you need to run, you're going to start thinking, oh, I know what to do. Oh, you're not fucking Steven Seagal. You're a hoe. Scream and run. Okay. That will always be able to whoop your ass and any man who's relatively capable as a man will always be able to whoop your ass, rape you, strangle you, kill you, anything he wants um, to do. Your only hope as a female is to scream and run. run Self-defense classes give advice. false hope to dumb hoes. They should all be outlawed. Well, there you go, ladies. Um, it's hopeless. Uh, you are going to be attacked. You are going to be raped. Uh, you are going to fall victim to the to these guys um, that feel like they can overpower you. Set us, yeah. You can do about it. Words of the G. It's just, you know, it's just so upsetting that this right now is the pinnacle of the internet. If women want to go out there and learn to fight, they can fight. Simple. And like I say, someone who's is a fighter, you you don't have to like you says it too pretty well. Often treats them like they're just silly little teenage girls, uh, and he speaks to women like they're you know. Uh, 
young teenagers. I mean, you all know how he talks to teenagers. It's fine. You know, like, if you ever, once you're 18, if you want to get yourself a real man, I know a guy. You do? I do. Yeah. Okay. I do know so Chris. What? It, it's a it's a long story. I can't tell you exactly who because there's bad, there's bad things no, about the fuck out of the room. Yo, there's no fucking way you just said that. No, no, no. I actually overheard that. The fact that you fucking said that shit is fucking crazy. That's an underage girl saying that as soon as you're legal, honey, come to me. That's the one Grimmer comes man. from. I'll show you what to do. Comments that Andrew has made online that got him into trouble in the first place were such things as not only should women clean up women should clean up unprompted i will not administer cpr unless you're a hot female if i have responsibility over her then i must have a degree of authority for the same reason if i have responsibility over and everyone's going to lose their mind it's an example it's only an analogy if i have responsibility over a child i have to have some authority you cannot be responsible for something that doesn't listen to you you can't be responsible for a dog if it doesn't obey you. So a Just a few little other right. nuggets to throw in there. He's also said and stated online that he likes to date 18 or 19 year old girls so he can imprint on them. What right. originally caused Tate to lose his Twitter account back in the day was, uh, and this on its own, this like on its own, just swipe everything else away. Everything he's ever said that's correct, everything that he's ever said that is just awful. This alone... One of his tweets back in the day that got his Twitter account removed was that he said um, females that fall victim to rape should bear some of the responsibility for those actions being taken against them. <laughs> what I assume he's trying to say is, is that they've addressed in a very revealing way. They behaved a certain way. They led a guy on and changed their mind. All this mm. toxic mm. shit that I hear guys say, oh, she's a cock teaser. Gentlemen, young boys growing up, I want you to listen to me and listen good. If a woman comes onto you and changes her mind, that's fine. Let her leave. Get over it and find someone else who does want to sleep with you. If a woman is dressed provocatively, if she's chosen to show cleavage, if she shows up to a nightclub fucking naked, keep your hands to yourself no woman chooses an outfit and goes out and thinks i want to be sexually assaulted i want to be groped i hope yeah you might dress and think guys do it oh, i might look nice tonight i might you know the ladies might look at me that's fine you want a bit of attention that's fine but the reason i don't go to nightclubs is because of dicks like him i see it time and time again there's nothing wrong with approaching a lady at a club offering to buy a drink getting to know her because she's pretty we all know that this happens but for god's sake no means no or just read the body language if they're not into it there's this whole culture of like ah but if i push hard enough she might change her mind if she's gonna change her mind then give her your number and she'll call you fucking leave them alone and I cannot stress to the young lads in this audience, okay? Being a man is not how successfully you hit on a girl. Being a man, it, what does that even mean? Just be yourself and be respectful. The whole phrase, be a man, is something that should never be said to a young boy. Because that whole saying, be a man, if we put be a man in a tree and had it linked to all the meanings that that means, be strong, be tall. Often when we're upset, we get patted. Be a man, meaning don't cry. Don't be vulnerable, don't show any signs of emotion. Look, if you wanna be a, a borderline rapist that talks to underage girls on the internet like that, and his philosophy on life is women aren't shit, and end up on your massive yacht rich and alone, fine, go do it. The one thing uh, with all the corresponding mm, behavior that I've seen in the Romania, out there yeah. is, obey blindly you would be able to have a relationship with someone like that good question the best female i could possibly meet is a female who comes to me and says i look at your life and look at what you've done and i respect your achievements to the point where i obey you blindly yeah i don't want her to have her blindly. i don't want her to be an alpha i want her to understand that the tape train is on the tape track she can get on and off the train but the track is laid the stations are already set and you can do nothing but enjoy the ride or fuck off the one thing uh, with all the corresponding behavior that I've seen that stands out there is obey 
blindly. Tate needs to date a corpse. His whole philosophy towards women is dangerous. And I really, I can't prove it, but I really feel that this is the surface we're seeing. This is the very surface. And we're seeing cracks and his mouth is big and he tries to cover it up with donating to charities. Recently today on his Instagram, he posted he was going to donate to a woman's charity uh, of, of abuse victims. I don't buy it. Yes. I don't buy it. I believe you moved to Romania because of the reasons you said you moved there. And I quote, I'm not a rapist, but I like the idea that I can get away with anything. And then he goes on to say this. Guys, why do you choose to live there? In Romania? Yeah, I know you I know you have like businesses and things going on there, but but why there? There's something that I very that very much can't, angers can't me about me. the Western world. I like living in countries where corruption is accessible for everybody. You moved from Romania okay. because there were allegations and you were being arrested on suspicion of rape. I know that to be a fact, Andrew. This man and his behavior, okay? And pay attention because this is the point where people are gonna come back to this video in some time and rewind or fast forward to this point when he is caught out in Romania, everyone will see. I'm not a rapist, but I like the idea of being able to get away with whatever the hell I want. Can't see it. This man, he can't help but let shit out. And that aside, all that shit that um, you can say meh about, the stuff that he has literally said, the stuff that he is coaching young men to say, the way we have physically with our own eyes seen him treat women, we are not stupid. I believe, it is my personal opinion, that he has moved to Romania so he can get away with a lot of the dark shit that we haven't seen yet. Obviously. And we will. Tate, you're, you're your own worst enemy. Your, your mouth is too big. You've said too much. And your donations to charity and your panicky behaviour because you've blown up on the internet and everything you've said has come to light and you're now being investigated. Get ready because it's not going to end there. You need to be stopped. Your dangerous philosophies need to be stopped. I don't give a shit how powerful you are. I don't give a shit how much money you have. I don't care if you have a pair of nunchucks and you stand half naked on the end of your boat where no one gives a shit and twirl them around all day. Keep twirling. You say you crush and defeat all your enemies. How are you going to crush yourself? By running your mouth. Let's put everything outside that we think about him and let's just put on the table for now what we've seen and what we know that's enough that's enough like i say shrink it down to that one tweet about how rape victims need to bear some responsibility for them being raped i don't care how young you are i don't care what gender you are if you're a human any support going to someone who is capable of thinking like that with the what women are saying, and I can't go into too much detail, what women are saying to me, coming forward with evidence, are saying to me, there's a man out there tweeting that these victims need to bear some responsibility. To me, that just screams of a man who's trying to justify what he's doing. This man is a pig, and I've reviewed many pigs in my time, but this is the worst, and I have never... I have never had to have phone calls with women and I can hear it in their voice. This man has been a pig to them. Even the ones I, I believe, the ones that have come forward and said, oh, we're just laughing, that was our relationship. I believe they've just had to say that because they're scared. This is often why a lot of cases don't get resolved or thrown out because of lack of evidence or their word against theirs. And I understand it. Our justice system for sexual assault needs more work and all these allegations being brought against him and women still coming out of the woodwork because now imagine imagine if he is the guy that these women are saying he is i can't prove it but imagine he is and then you're trying to live your life and then all of a sudden you cannot get rid of the image of this man he's everywhere now and we're putting him there and even to some degree i know this video is um, giving him more attention, but I'm not doing it the way other YouTubers have reacted to him. 
laughing at him, passing it off. I cannot understand that we still live in a society where I cannot see why this man is disturbed, why the things he is saying, real or not, is besides the point. Whether he can kick my ass or not is besides the point. Whether he's richer than me is besides the fucking point. This is not how you behave. It's not how you treat people. And I don't know how many more women are going to contact me. I don't know how many more accusations are going to be made. But all I know is, and if Tate's got nothing to hide, more investigation needs to be but done into this man. Will Someone needs to be looking into this, this guy weird. out in Romania at why he has chosen to live there and why he's openly on camera said he just wants to play the corruption game and get away with it with his wealth. I don't think it stops at speeding tickets pressing scummy shit that he says about women they can't fight they shouldn't fight back they should obey blindly i'm stronger than you i'm more powerful than you i'm richer than you you are a vessel for a child and a seed and that is everything that you should be and to be anything but you're selfish put all of those things in a sentence string them together and you may as well cram it your nothing and tell me you don't think that these women coming forward might hold some truth. I have other clips. I have clips of him on a train being insulting to a lady. I have, I don't know you, Tate, and I, I don't want to know you. Um, all I can do is review footage and react to what you've put out there. And as for everything else... I hope that it all comes to light and we find out the truth about you. Those saying, what is Daz going to do? For all the Andrew Tate fans coming at me saying, what's this fat little YouTube going to do? This isn't just saying some um, insensitive shit online. This isn't leaving your keys in the car. Oh, little mistake. This is just years of destructive and abusive behavior. And we're filming it and laughing at it. What am I going to do? I'm going to listen to those people. And I am going to give them a platform to come forward because that's what being human's about. I don't have to know you to listen to you. I don't have to know Tate to know that this is wrong. This is all wrong. It's not funny. It's not a meme. It's not worthy of a diss track. This is real. This is a man saying and doing these things and people are giving him a microphone and airtime to do it whilst paying into his business to learn how to be a G. I don't want to watch anymore. I'll leave it at this. Young boys and teenage men watching this, be a man should never have existed. It should never have been taught to us. Just be a good human, yeah? Like, don't believe that you're gonna be happy getting bitches, all, all this shit that you see, all this stuff that we're fed as young men in rap videos, women filled with jacuzzis and throwing themselves at us. And it's not um, about, that's, that's not realistic. It's not a man. Just be a good person and just respect other people. Ladies watching this, this one was for you. And I'm tired. I'm tired of men not putting their foot down on other men and their ideologies about how you should run your lives, your bodies, your minds, and that you ain't worth shit. I'm tired of seeing people have to fight just for rights and for love. And if this video has impacted anyone, if this video makes one young boy say, I want to be more like Daz, I, I want to do that as a guy, this video is a success. And ladies, this one's for you. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, cool. It's been an eye-opener. Where we go from here, I don't know. My opinions are my own. For the people I've spoken to behind the scenes, uh, whose identities I will not reveal, and that someone can be listened to, and if Andrew has nothing to hide, this can be uh, properly investigated. Guys, thank you for watching today's video. I'm sorry, we're, we're normally used to having fun here, and being positive and having fun and laughing. Um, but today was just one of those Daz watches. Like, love, press my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. I love you all. Stay dazzling. I don't think I will never understand the people who agree with him. Maybe it's for financial reasons. I don't know. It needs to be investigated, possible. It's on the video. I'll see you in this video.